Now, this should be purely about fighting the Abbasid. Let's see what else the game throws at us to... ...show that I have no idea. And that I'm just wrong. And this will not be about fighting the Abbasids. Oh, look at these. They shouldn't feel left out. Let's bring our foreign legions into the fold as well. Lovely. Technology points. Let's see if our troops ever reach. Ah, the Abbasid have made their reappearance on the field of battle. Maybe they will feel bold and attack our small army here. But I have some bad news for them. It will likely be over before they ever get to make another move. Yeah, they're going to try and siege here. Let's move our retinue out of the way. Don't want them to get the wrong idea. Oh! Our little foreign legion has actually arrived. There we go. 100% my friend. Enjoy losing. So that wasn't good for them, but that was very good for us. Look at all that gold that we got there. Lovely. What can you be? Well, go be a schemer then. Bastard kid. Stand down our troops and unite our retinues. Well, since leadership has changed in the Abbasid Empire since we attacked, or rather since we were at war, would be very much within our rights to attack them again or rather declare war but I feel like we should look north as well what can we do in room did establish a tributary state would be nice Let's turn them into our tributary. Something long lasting. Ah, I love the music. Oh, they have a lot of. Uh, lots and lots of friends in Africa. Okay, fine. They can't gauge how strong they are, real quick. Will not attack them just now. How strong are you, anyway? Uh, I've seen stronger. I like that the Holy Roman Empire is actually doing fairly well here. Europe was not crushed by the Aztecs. Decent. And the dual Englands still exist. Can I turn you into my tributary? They are mean. Oh yeah, I can try. And no one will help you. pretty neat just want to become my own empire really what is this in the south here what are you this some sort of king what king are you not the worst king even Oh, the Aztecs are having some sort of civil war. So they have been fighting with some 
foreign threat, which they only really got to take care of by using imported horse menis. Okay, would you look at that? Time to kill some people, I think. Let's kill him first. Ow. Bot power isn't very high. Point being an assassin. Can we... Go up here? Ow. Still haven't killed her. Let's stop this active mission then. What do we need? We need... How much? Ah, there. 750. We will not be able to reach that just by... Just by going through... I lost my train of thought, yeah. Which happens. Okay. Well, of course, I'm not a fan of the factions, but they only want council power, which... Uh, of course, no one wants to give up, but... Uh, dedicate more time to the scriptures. Yes, please. Let's go for... Let's go for scholarship. No, let's actually go for rulership. Rulership is one of the most worthless ones, but maybe maybe I'm finding out something new here with picking it. They still want us to... They always want us to kill the same one. I don't agree with the assessment here. Why do you hate me so, woman? Because it's still up. Alternate. Yeah. Right. Still being illuminated. Stuff's being built. Another daughter. Lovely. So we will check our dangerous factions here and see if we can't stop this nonsense by creating some... Yeah, that one would be an option, but he's in both factions. So let's see if we can't get him. Oh, non-aggression pact. All the better. So can we get you aligned with us? Yes, we can. So we shall. Let's... This here... So that should take care of those two factions pretty quickly now. They're no longer affected! Lovely. That's good. Real good. So that's one faction down. And that's pretty much both factions down for now. Until we get another child to sell off. What shall she be? Thrifty. Ah, yeah, we don't need to try and kill him anymore. Let's stop this. Demand religious conversion. Yes, please. Okay, some alliance. Oh, look at that. Okay. I actually thought about doing a video on how to deal with a pandemic. So I will do it right now, right in the middle here, because we are facing... What is this? Smallpox. Right, no, this is camp fever. Good. So what options do we have to stave this off? And I need to alt up real quick over to my notes, because I had these up. So let's go through what to do to stave off a pandemic. I hope to remember to put a timestamp in there for about nine minutes. Right. First thing you want to do is prepare. Preparation is usually done by building and upgrading hospitals. Because hospitals have this lovely thing called disease resistance which they give you. And even once a pandemic hits, you still want to keep investing into these. Um, 
Disease resistance does work on two levels. It works on the populace of everyone in there, so they don't lose too many people, the counties in which the uh, hospitals are built. And it also gives you a higher uh, resistance for the court, basically. So what you want is not just build a good hospital in the main county which you live in, but also all the adjacent counties. So as you can see, we have zero hospitals around us, which ain't good. So we will start building hospitals because the base hospital is very, very cheap. And the first upgrade is also kind of cheap, but that really helps. Ideally, you would kind of grow further out and your own counties, doesn't matter how far away from the capital they are, you should really make sure that they all have hospitals because that is where you derive your main manpower and in cases if everything else breaks apart your core counties and holdings are what will keep you afloat right also next step listen to the experts right this also applies to real life don't don't listen to just everything okay you want to listen to the experts so you check your minor titles and to check that your court physician is actually qualified to be that now the game has this lovely thing that they it doesn't even allow you to put someone who's incompetent in here we have a very very skilled court physician because his learning skill is very high there are some that have a specific physician or mystic trait which get some special abilities in the treatment of illnesses but if you can't find that, high learning skill is what you want because a learned person will do a much better job at uh, dealing with anything that might come up than anyone. Right. Then we come to the thing which we call social distancing these days. In Crusader Kings, that means do not lead troops yourself. Turn it off. You don't want to lead troops. If you have heirs or courtiers or counselors that you kind of like and want to keep alive do not send them out to work in affected areas ideally recall them put them back in your court which kind of goes against the whole social distancing but it means that you don't want the singular person in interacting with all these already infected people right so social distancing too the next step for that would be you can shut the gates this is this option up here, which you can then activate over here. It does reduce the diplomacy by minus five, which is a pretty huge hit. However, it means that you will be shut within your castle with your existing court. If at the point where you shut the gates, no one of your court has been infected with whatever is raging across the landscape, you have a very good chance that you will never even come in contact with this. Now, when is it sensible to shut the gates? If you do not have very high hospitals, if you have no hospitals at all, it might be very sensible to shut the gates. If you are part of a risk group, meaning you are very young, so under the age of, let's say, 16 and over the age of 50, then you want to probably shut the gates to hopefully survive. If you can, switch your focus to something that gives you plus health, like hunting, which might not be ideal because you also still go out. Theology might be real good because at that point, you're also quite behind the gates and you don't want to go anywhere anyway so you read and also you can send yourself some thoughts and prayers which will definitely help we just recently switched to rulership it's not the most terrible thing we could have done it's fine right if you have a focus like deduction or family or carousing also drop those because these mean a lot of interaction with people you don't want to do that at, at, at this point as well as war honestly anything that lets you go outside so pick theology or scholarship where you don't really interact much with other people so if all of that fails huh? let's say all of this really gets bad and it's not just the camp fever but let's say the black death or something which it might very well be you have another option uh if you don't have a lovely list of heirs that where you don't have a good line of succession where there's a good amount of people waiting to take over in the case you die and that might mean game end game for your no game over for your dynasty 
In that case, ignore all the social distancing, pick seduction, pick family, just breed like the world is going to end tomorrow, because for you it must, it just might end tomorrow. So that's what you want to do. And as this happens, right now the pandemic we are facing isn't really a good option uh, to show this because it's all within our own borders. But as these hit, you will see that these places lose their prosperity, they go down. And that will inevitably cause a lot of people to die around here. So countries, and counties and duchies and kingdoms and empires affected by a disease will weaken under it because they can't have the same pool of manpower to take their armies from. So if there is a good spree of virilic, no, virilic, virilic infection going around, check your neighbors, see who's not doing great and then maybe invade them, but also don't leave your armies in the counties which are strongly affected. Those are all the tips that I have for you to survive a pandemic in Crusader Kings 2. And yeah, I think I'll leave you with this lovely little piece of information. And I'm sure the next time the Black Death or something minor comes for you, you will be perfectly prepared and know all the things that you need to do to survive this and not lose your life. Take it seriously. Don't listen to pundits trying to tell you it's all just a hoax. A Byzantine hoax.